And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. This unbelievable February heat wave came to an end today with temperatures in the 60s to around 70 degrees. I hope you enjoyed it. Take a look at the next seven days. It's back to reality. We're going to see lower to mid 40s tomorrow, lower to mid 30s on Friday, and by Saturday, high temperatures will only be in the 20s. Right now, temperatures across northeast Wisconsin range from the lower 40s near the Bay and Lake to the lower 60s in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac. Currently in Appleton, we're still looking at 55 degrees with light winds in Green Bay. We just had a beautiful sunset. The temperature is 55 with northeast winds at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. We've seen a few clouds across the area today mixing with all that sunshine and those clouds have been producing a couple of sprinkles and we'll have the chance for a few sprinkles or a light rain shower this evening and then we'll have a chance for a few more rain showers later on tonight as our next weather maker moves across the central Great Lakes. This system warmed us up today but behind it tomorrow it's going to cool us down. Temperatures across the central and northern plains running a good 10 to 20 degrees cooler today compared to yesterday. High temperatures were only in the 30s, and this is the colder weather that is headed our way. But earlier this afternoon, temperatures were running 30 to 40 degrees above normal for this time of year. In fact, we had our warmest February day ever with a high temperature of 65. The old record was 61, so we actually smashed it. We've now had six days with high temperatures at or above 50 degrees. The first three days we tied or broke records. And then today, the actual record high was 58, so we beat that by 7 degrees. But much colder weather is moving back in with gusty northeast winds tomorrow. High temperatures will only be in the lower to mid 40s. Tonight we can expect maybe a shower or two as the system pushes through. Behind it, clouds giving way to sun and clouds by the afternoon, but then more clouds will roll in tomorrow evening ahead of our next bigger weather maker, and this is going to be a big storm. Take a look at this. At 3 o'clock in the morning on Friday, we will see snow. The snow could be falling heavily at times as we head through Friday morning. Everything goes over to a mix for Friday late morning, afternoon, and early evening before we go back to snow by Friday night and Saturday. Winter storm watches have already been issued to our north and west. I'm expecting more of the same farther east as we head into tomorrow. This storm is going to be tracking north and east across the Great Lakes as we head through Thursday night, Friday and Saturday. Right now, it looks like the heaviest snow will fall just north and west of the Fox Valley. This does include a large chunk of the NBC 26 viewing area. 8 to 12 inches of snow not out of the question. South and east, we're going to have more mixing. So the forecast becomes a little more difficult, but right now I'm thinking snow tomorrow night and Friday morning about two to four inches around an inch or so on Friday and then another one to three inches as we head into Friday night and Saturday. If you add that all together, that equals a three to six or four to eight inch snowfall for most of us with lower totals to the south and east of Lake Winnebago. So tonight clouds and maybe a shower lows will be down in the mid 30s. That's still above our normal high. <laughs> Tomorrow, windy and colder, sun and clouds. High temperatures will be in the lower to mid 40s. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 43. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to double portion. We did that today. I forecast 63 and the actual high temperature was 65 degrees. So the big weather story the last week or so has been the warmth. The big weather story the next couple of days will be the big storm rolling through a wintry mix and snow, accumulating snow and then colder weather. And as we wrap up February and head into March, it's going to feel more like it should this time of year, Stacy, and we're going to have more chances for some rain and or snow. So highs around 70 today. Some of us actually saw 70 <laughs> degrees in just a couple of days. Some of us will be digging out from a lot of snow. It's truly incredible, isn't it? It is. You got to love Wisconsin. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Cameron. The warm weather.